What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So the devs have finally released the patch notes. I know it took a while, but they are here. So now we are gonna go over this the best we can. I'm not gonna make the video too long. I'm gonna try to just highlight a lot of stuff and just go through this and give some feedback and just like my overall thoughts about it. This is a 10,000 piece patch notes. It's like the biggest one that they've had to date. So we're gonna go through this. I haven't checked it out yet. I just got back to the house. So we're gonna kind of go through this now. So PTR, what we need to know, uh, change is coming. We already know this. So it starts on April 2nd through the 9th for PC with a Battle.net account. The purpose is to for us to give feedback. So we're gonna do that. And hopefully based on our feedback as players, they'll be able to make some changes. So we got a big, huge codex here. We're gonna try to go through this. Now, a lot of this we got from the campfire stream. So there's gonna be some things that are just in addition to. So uh, here we go. We have three pillars for our itemized updates, quality over quantity, which is what they talked about. For the full list of what's new for classes, check out the class update patch notes here, which we'll uh, put in another one. But here we go, basic items. So we already know about the affix changes going from three uh, onto legendaries and two onto rares. So smaller pool, more relevant affixes, got that. Only sacred in uh, ancestral and world tier three and four, thank God. Um, affixes need to be punctured. So here's some new affixes that are happening. Resource per second, resource on kill, lucky hit, apply vulnerable, life per hit, and basic skill ranks. This is actually kind of nice. Um, I'm still interested to know that I'm assuming if we take a rare and we slap a legendary power on it, it will get a third random affix. I don't know. Maybe we'll find that in here, but it doesn't look like it so far. So legendary items drop uh, from... Level 95s or higher will always be 925. This is great. Uh, gems now have core stats on them. So it's instead of it being like vulnerable, um, extra crit strike damage while it's vulnerable, it's just crit strike damage, right? Uh, salvage and crafting rewards have all been tuned. Significantly reduced item drop rates. Uh, item rerolling uh, gold cost cap. We already knew about this. Uh, material removal and, and consolidation. They already said that. They can now be obtained by whispers and drop from at least for forgotten souls. This is good. Uh, uniques appear earlier. So world tier, um, some uniques drop in world tier one and two. That's good to know. All uniques drop in world tier three. And then Uber start at monster level 925. And they are item powered 925. So this is really good. Uh, over to tempering. It's the brand new system that will be at the uh, blacksmith, which is really cool. We've already seen a lot of this, right? Um, patch notes. So they're, uh, and then these are also categorized in the Codex of Power, Resource, Mobility, etc. Once you gain these, you retain them from unlimited use, which is fantastic. Each manual contains a handful, which is four exactly, and affixes can be re-rolled uh, up to the item's temporal limit, which we talked about in another video. Please go check that out. Greater affixes. So the Helm Ancestral, we already talked about this in another one that can be found on there. Masterworking. Uh, there's 12 upgrades. Every four ranks, we get a significantly increased one. Uh, using items from the pit, which we have here. You guys get to see the items from the pit. Oh, it just extends it down. Okay. All legendary aspects now appear in the codex, which is awesome. The highest level you get will be there. Legendary affixes range increased from normal, sacred, ancestral. This is great. The UI has been revamped. We've already seen that. Helltide Reborn. Super good. Um... The tide, we made it twice. So as though, as you battle through hell ties, you will generate a threat, which is that threat level, which you see here. And then as it increases, we get more, right? After world tier three, you will become hell marked, achieving a maximum threat where stuff spawns on you. Uh, and then the thing will reset. A curse ritual, baneful hearts can now, can primarily be earned through opening gifted, torture gifted chests, along with a ritual location. This is kind of cool. A scene of shocking gore. It's the testament uh, where the occult or cultist um, will begin their accursed ritual. Deposit three baneful hearts into the ritual, and you will be swarmed with a dense demonic ambush. Other players within your zone can be alerted to that ritual and join you in a fight. The ambush will climax to fight the blood maiden, a powerful demon. So we are going to get like another kind of uh, hell tide boss, the blood maiden. So that's really cool. They added the Helltide to, uh, there goes the Blood Maiden right there, which is super cool. They added it to World Tiers 1 and 2, which is awesome. You get all torture gifts, no roaming bosses in World Tiers 1 or 2, and less, less density overall compared to World Tier 3 and 4. This is to be expected, but I do think it's nice. 
Uh, we got the Pit of Artificers, aka the Greater Rifts. Fantastic. Um, so upon entering World Tier 4, you receive a priority quest to complete a Tier 46 Nightmare Dungeon. Upon completion, you gain a Rune Shard uh, during the endgame activities. Collect enough of them, and you'll be able to activate the Obelisk, which is what you see here, to be able to go do the Rifts. Uh, we'll give you to the pit. The goal is to slay enough before the 10-minute timer. Each death is 30 seconds. A second death is 60, and it increases uh, every single time you die. If you sl slay enough monsters, you get the pit to fight the boss. Killing the boss. Oh, here we go. Killing the boss within 46 minutes to spare grants you additional tier unlock, so that increases what level you can do in the pit. Killing a boss with six or more minutes to spare grants you two additional tier unlocks. So that's really cool. So you can kind of jump up a lot faster. This is similar to how they do it in Diablo 3. The pit has hundreds with an S, you hear me? That is plural of tiers of difficulty. The mastery um, timer expires. You'll re still receive loot, but you won't receive any masterwork materials, so that sucks. The pit can be taken up to a group of four. The player who opened the pit receives the lion's share of the materials, so that's interesting. Only the player who opened the pit has the chance to receive the materials for summoning the tormented echoes, which is the, the big bosses, the boss ladder updates. So the echo of Ondario, so Andy is here, we knew about that. Uh, it has the same loot table as Duril, so you'll be able to farm, farm all your uber uniques, which is what you see here. Um, it has a rotation of elemental attacks, which is cool, and, and Andy moves, which is fantastic. Tormented Echoes, all ladder bosses can be summoned uh, with the stagnant stones obtained from deep within the pit. Uh, they're needed to increase the amount of summoning materials, but fear not, they also drop more rewards. So Tormented Echoes will be level 200. All items dropped will be 925. Defeat your first Tormented Echo drops. One Resplendent Spark as a first-time reward account bound. Interesting. So I'm assuming that because it says account bound, maybe we'll be able to... Maybe it doesn't sound like we'll be able to do it on multiple characters. I'm not sure. Uh, features offered for testing. So we get all these things. Altars, Fog of War, Mounts and Skill Points, Campaign Completion... Uh, so many changes will be applied to the end game. The following features will be offered. You can instantly boost your character to level 100. Upon entering the PTR and arriving in Kmart, you will have a P, uh, NPC named PTR Boost. Uh, and it boosts you straight to level 100. So that's cool. It's free. Upon the boost, you get 100 million gold, obols, two random sets of gear, points, paragon points, 10 tempering materials, class specific, base amount of all consumables, which is great. This does not include... Um, this we're spending sparks, which is weird. Uh, materials to enter the pit are granted. Completed class system mechanics, uh, enchantments, etc. for sorcerer and other classes. Note, the boost can be repeated for a new character on the PTR. And you can trade uh, between characters. That is sweet. So that's cool. The big boost will get a big jump onto it. So how to provide feedback, just go hit their message boards. And then how to install it is the same way as normal. So let's go take a look at the... I'm guessing this is the new items. Here we go. There are many class updates, but here we go. So, uh, new items. Terio's Might is a unique chess piece. I did. I thought this was supposed to be Uber. I think this is supposed to be Uber, but I'm not for sure. Uh, Yen's Blessing. Casting a skill grants 20 to 30%. Uh, chance to cast a non-mobility, non-ultimate skill that is currently on cooldown. That's kind of cool. Aspects of Frosty Strides. While below that life evade freezes close enemies okay aspect of consecutive con concussive strikes on a lucky hit damage enemy has a chance to daze them it's pretty cool barbarian uniques the etrets bearing unique pants we saw this where you get the earthquake uh increases twin strikes this increases the amount of double swings we get to do uh fierce winds your shouts create dust devils man they're really piling on the dust devils huh Druid unique items. Earthbreaker. Landslide causes the ground to erupt and tectonic spikes. Casting landslide in this area has a chance to cause additional landslide, landslide pillars to spawn within. That will be cool. Wildheart hunger. Boots. When you shape shift, you gain wildheart for five seconds, granting you increased damage, stacking up to 20 times. Ooh. Fevered mauling. When you hit at least one enemy with maul, you increase your attack speed. Not bad. Necro. Eben... Eben Piercer. Blight also shoots small, shoots four smaller projectiles. Kind of cool. Not bad. 
Um, unique gloves. Blood surge consumes courses and causes a mini Nova. Oh my god, that's going to be nuts. Damage is also increased. Okay. Uh, skeleton priests empower your warriors to deal more damage and stun. Cool. Scoundrel's kiss. Rapid fire now lobs exploding arrows. Ooh, so we're getting exploding arrow. That's pretty neat. Uh, Saboteur's signet. Casting flurry has a chance to release stun grenades. Ooh, they, they've really been hounding on the stun grenade stuff. High velocity barrage now pierces through another enemy and has increased attack speed. Just give us multi shot for the love of God. All right, Sork. Fractured Winter Glass is the new amulet for Frozen Orb. I'm excited about that. That's probably going to be what I'm going to be playing at the start of the season. Flame Weaver casting Firebolt through a firewall. No, that, that's just too much. Too much. Uh, aspect of Tenuous Destruction. Deal increased damage while you have no defense skills on your action bar. Interesting. Hmm. Incinerate. Now splits into beams. Wow, they meant incinerate. They really want this to be good. All right, balance updates. Here we go. So they're nerfing Banish Lords. Reducing it, right? Tabalt's will is going to go up to 20%. That's what I thought. Damage increases persists one second longer after being unstoppable. So I figure this. Let me tell you, the pants are still going to be insane. Having 20% flat damage, even though it's not 40, is still very, very strong. Disobedience. They know fall off independently. Now refresh at the, set at the same time. Armor gain changed up to 40%. Huge. I think this is because um, the other one that just gives you flat armor is just better. So this is a good change. Assimilation. I don't think anybody really used that. Retribution has a bigger chance to stun and knock down enemies. Uh, intercalm. Increased damage. This is really good for bosses. Crowded Sage. Uh, you heal more. Bold Chieftains is now usable by both Druids and Barbarians. Hmm. Interesting. And the Needle Flare also gives ne uh, minions thorns. That's kind of cool. Necro, Barb, Druid, and Sork Companions now receive 100% of player attributes. Sork doesn't have companions. I guess they're Conjurations, maybe? I don't know. Um, skill tags have been updated. Shout skills. Chain. New mobility. More skills tagged as core. Golly, there's so much here. Barbs has been removed. We already knew that. Charge damage has been reduced. Uh, so big, big nerf to charge here. Everything gets reduced down. Hoda deals one, and now it'll gain two. Oh. Oh, my God. 1% multiplicative damage for each point, and now they're making it gains crit chance? Oh. Hoda is useless now. Oh, that's crazy. Ren's damage got increased. Rupture is guaranteed to overpower. Call of the Ancients has been buffed across the board. Kick has been buffed. Unbridled Rage has been nerfed. Lucky hits for that. Fury gain. Two-handed axes. This is your passives here, the expertises. Cooldown has been reduced. Oh, my God, dude. Barb is getting a huge nerf here. All this stuff is such a huge nerf, guys. Earth Strikers. Jeez. You know what, though? I say all this in the video, guys, but I'm still going to tell you right here and now that Barbarians will probably still... Well, okay, instead of doing half a billion damage at level 25, they'll just do a billion damage. It's not a big deal, all you bar mames. Don't freak out too yet. All right. Rage. A lot of this stuff has been changed. Druid Spirit Boons have been changed and increased. This is good. They buffed Claw and uh, Maul. Raging Pulverize. Stun duration increased. That's nice. Shred has been increased. Very good. Debilitating Roar counts as a shout skill with the change. Wolves gain unstoppable. Okay. Petrify stuff has been changed. Lacerate. We saw the big change in the last video. Call of the Wind damage is increased. Heightened Senses. Clarity. Raw Might. So it looks like Druid actually got a lot of buffs here. A lot of buffs, actually. Oh, you gain Spirit? Nice, dude. That's really good. Flesh Render. Tracker. Buff, 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 buff. Okay, so Barbarian got nerfed. Druid's been buffed. Let's see what Necromancer gets. Uh, Tooltip. Remove Movement. Ooh, that's good for Blood Mist. Very good. 
Uh, Golem. Okay, crowd control. Decompose got a huge change. I don't know if that's going to be necessarily good or not, but... Army of the Dead increased the rate of skeletons. Nice. Inspiring Leader has been changed. Gives you crit chance for you and your minions. Edict has been changed. Buff there. We already saw the changes in the Book of the Dead here for all this. That was really good. Big changes there. Uh, blood Soaked. Your movement speed no longer reduces Blood Mist. Now in Blood Mist, oh, you actually get more at movement speed. That's great. Commander Aspect. Uh, they deal increased damage and take reduced damage. That's huge. They're really buffing uh, minions. This is great, man. This is all good for minions being buffed. So buff. Ring of Mendelin, previous. Now every six attack is empowered. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see if that changes it. But I guess this makes sense on ring because then they're getting such a big buff. So buff, buff. Rogue, stun grenade buff. Inner side got changed. We saw that in the dev stream. Energy requirement for preparation. Flurry got uh, increased. Volley can be canceled. That's kind of nice. Victimize buff, buff. Dude, they're, they're buffing everything and just nerfed uh, Barbarian. And it's still going to be Barbarian, the strongest class in the game. That's crazy. Big changes here. Blast Trapper got buffed. Arrow Storms kind of buffed. All right. Here we go, Sork, let's go. Mastery skills are considered core in exchange, which is nice. Uh, Conjurations have a chance to cast, to case a Frost Nova. Okay. Chill amount is increased. Flame Shield, we, we know that this got changed for um, Hardcore. Frozen Orb, finally we can actually point and shoot, which is great. Increased chances for on Greater. Um, now when healthy... The explosion of the orb. Oh, my God. I can't wait to play Frozen Orb. It's going to be so strong. Um, wow. That all got buffed. Crazy. Flame Shield buffs. Teleport. Previous, the cooldown is reduced. Now you just gain more move speed. Oh, my God. They don't want us to infinitely teleport. That's not bad. That's not good. Wait. Crackling energy. Now, teleport deals 500% increased damage. Also forms crackling energy. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ice shards got increased. Baseline damage. Amount. Ooh, so now we get two Hydras. And then with the item, we can have three Hydras. Oh, my God. Lightning Spear damage is increased. Greater Charge Bolts increased. Incinerate increased. Oh, my God, dude. Cooldown. So, Sort got big buffs here. They're really going all in on Conjuration. This is great. Bounding Conduit got changed. Damage is increased. Concentration increased. Oh my god, dude. They just buffed across the board. This is so great. Staff of Liam Neeson got buffed. Oh, oh, staff. Uh, damage is close to been ranks of charge bolt. Huge. Tactician. All loot has been upgraded and changed. Thank god. Elixirs. So, all weak, strong, and potent elixirs have been removed to play, be replaced with the following. Okay, so there's just cold. Cold 2. Fire, fire two, lightning, lightning two. Uh, okay, nice, nice. Iron barbs one, two, fortitude one, two. Experience gain, more life. Destruction, which is overpower damage. Precision for crit strike. Advantage, attack speed. Resource, nice. New elixirs, the holy bolts of momentum, which we did a video about. After killing an enemy, holy bolts fire from corpses of that enemy. And momentum is after killing an enemy. Movement speed has been increased. Stacking up to 15 times. Uh, so three times 15. So you can get 45% increased movement speed. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's huge. Esu's heirloom. That has been fixed. The new camera option being able to zoom out is huge and fantastic. Crafting materials now have rarities associated with them. You can search through uh, stash. Drop items can be caused by click on the keyboard. You can use D-pad. Trials. Players who earn Seal of Worthy for a given week in the gauntlet now have a 100% chance to be rewarded with a unique item. Okay. Well, is it an uber unique? Because I don't think anybody cares. We got the new rotation of Nightmare Dungeons. Traverse skills, such as Leap and Teleport, now can have their distance determined by how far the analog stick. That's good for controller players. 
legendary and unique items can be traded. This is fantastic, but you can't do it if you've uh, done any of the uh, crafting with it. It has to be unaltered items, which is fantastic. And then some bug fixes here. Bug fixes. Okay. Well, this is great, guys. We got like a 20-minute video here, so this is really interesting. So it looks like Barb got a bit of a nerf. All the other classes got some buffs. So we have a crap ton of stuff to test in the PTR. But overall, 10,000 piece uh, PTR patch notes. These things, I mean, this is great. I know a lot of players have been really banking on Season 4 being a big, you know, turn in the tide. And I really think that this is going to just help push Diablo to be an awesome game. I know I really wish it, it is. So make sure to like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think um, overall, what you're most excited about. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you guys got. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. God, there's a lot of stuff here. Peace.